To understand how layering works, think of each picture, element, and text box as a layer that, when placed on top of each other, form your design. The Layering button allows you to bring certain elements or layers of your design to the front, making them easier to edit. It also allows you to indicate which elements go on top of other elements, affecting the look of the finished piece. In this example, we will be showing you how the Layers tool affects a design that has three layers, an image layer, a design element layer, and a text box layer. The Layers button is located in the top menu next to the Align button. To use the Layering tool, first select the object you wish to edit. In this example, we will edit the background picture. Click once on the Layers button, and four small buttons or options will appear beneath this button. From left to right, these options are Bring to Front, which makes the picture the very front layer, hiding all other layers behind it. The next option is Bring Forward, which brings the picture up one layer, allowing other objects to still remain on top. The next option is Send Backward, which sends the picture one layer back, allowing other objects to still remain on top. The last option is Send to Back, which makes the picture the background or the back layer of the design. You'll notice that by bringing the picture to the front, the design element and text look like they disappear. In actuality, the text layer and design element layer have just been moved behind the picture. You'll also notice that if you bring the picture one layer forward, it will hide the design element, but you will still see your text. Again, the design element is still there, it is merely one layer back. To see the design element, simply select the Send to Back option, which moves the picture again to the back. As you can see, the Layers tool allows you to access and edit pictures and other layers. You can also see how the Layers tool can affect the appearance of your finished design.